Here we go. A little opening up. Now I'm going to open a really wide floor. Take a little time and compress. The wider the floor, the more vulnerable it is in drying. So really take your time and compress there. And make sure you have a nice, even, flat bottom. I'm not going to do any trimming on this pot. So now I've got this nice rim of clay and I'm just gonna grab it and start bringing it up and inward. All right. And here I go up and inward. I'm going to take a rib and start compressing this clay a little bit and getting rid of any imperfections and throwing lines. I'm going to push the bottom out just a little bit, a whole revolution around. And get that taper going inward. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. I'm going to choke this just a little bit up here to get a little bit more of a taper inward. There we go, right about there. Mm, it's kind of a soft curve going inward. I'm going to do a rim that goes inward and down. form right there would make a nice uh, utensil holder. Okay, let me look in my trusty drawer for a cool tool. I think I'll use this thumb tool. And right here, I'm gonna push inward as hard as I can, and I'm gonna come up to the next one Push inward as hard as I can, up to the next one. Push inward as hard as I can, up to the next one. Push inward as hard as I can. And the next one, inward as hard as I can. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't quite see what I'm creating here. Right here, inward. If you don't have real wet clay, you can do all kinds of cool things to the surfaces. And one more. That's pretty cool. And now I'm gonna go around with this nice chamois. Create that edge right there. And I think I'm gonna take a little tool and split these edges just a little bit like this. Just to draw a little attention to those rings. I 
kind of like it. Glaze should break there very nicely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little softening of the edges. Why not? I can always go over it a little later with a chamois, but it's best to do it right now, in my opinion. I'm going to undercut right there. And I think I'm going to come up here and put a little line in. And now I'm going to square it because everything's so round about it. Why not square it? That's kind of nice. And now I think I'll just come from the bottom and put a little accent that kind of creates a shadow up to that point of square. You see that? I'm liking it. Yeah, and one more. There it is. <laughs> 